Man, my arms are wore out. That is not even close to half of what's in that shipping container over there. But the rest of the stuff is kind of loose. It's not in crates like this. So it's gonna be harder to organize as I bring it up. I did span that. I know you're not supposed to hang stuff from trusses. They do make engineered trusses that you can have like a, a hallway up in top or you can make storage. I forget what they call them. It's a specific type of truss. And I believe those trusses are made out of two by six, not two by four. These trusses were just engineered for the snow load. So you're not supposed to hang anything from them. I figured if I spanned the three trusses and rested that four by four in the end wall, picking up one of these, the most it's gonna weigh is I think maybe 80 pounds. Span between three trusses and the end wall, it's not gonna break them. I could probably hang from one of these trusses if I wanted to, but I know it's definitely not recommended that you actually make a loft area in trusses unless they're engineered for it. So if you're gonna do something like this, be careful with your trusses, don't put too much weight on them. So if I'd have thought about it a long time ago, I would have continued my 110 electric outlets all the way around and to this post and probably about two foot above this floor right here, that height. I have a 110 Harbor Freight electric winch that's rated at 440 pounds or 880 if you double the cable, if you uh, block and tackle it like I've done here. Way more weight than any of these crates weigh, way more weight than I'd be pulling up here at one time. So it would work great, but I don't have electricity all the way over here and I don't know if I want to go out and spend any more money on wire and boxes and all that. I heard it's getting kind of out of hand. I haven't priced electrical stuff in a while, but I know most building materials are kind of out of hand right now. So this little hand pulley system worked just fine. Got me a good workout. No blisters yet. So that's a bonus. If you like seeing stuff get made, seeing stuff get built or seeing stuff get fixed, this is a channel for you. Hit that subscribe button, the little bell for notifications. I'll see you next time. Don't forget, go make something.